Okay, here are the numbers that are that have uh, have been fed into us now, and you see that uh, Pete Buttigieg at 27 percent, Sanders 25, followed by Warren and Biden again. These are not necessarily reflective of what the final outcome would be. We're told this is 62 percent of the precincts reporting. Uh, Chuck Todd is with me right now. Chuck, what do we read in these numbers? Just so people know, and these those three-digit numbers there are the the um, <clears throat> the delegate equivalents, the the state delegate equivalents. It's not a vote there uh, itself. And I know we had 95 percent in the corner there, but I think at this point th we have not verified a thing. This is the Iowa Democratic Party's numbers. The Iowa Democratic Party, they, this is them. And, and I, I say that because I know a lot of times we do have a chance sometimes to verify numbers. We do not are able to do this. This so, is not a read the numbers and run away and that, say I That's know right. I so I think that this is obviously problem one for the Iowa Democratic Party is that there are going to be people that never accept um, these results. But the results themselves, I mean, it's it sort of we had a hint in our entrance polls that Bernie Sanders and Pete Buttigieg um, had done quite well and seemed to be do a little bit better than the other three major contenders there, Biden, um, Warren, and Klobuchar. And obviously the, the big story, and, and perhaps it's still a big story today, although again, you know, these results are, they're going to be contaminated. I mean, let's just be honest. It feel, you know, he's trying to say they're not, but it is going to feel contaminated to some folks no matter what. But the fact of the matter is fourth place for Joe Biden's um, is is catastrophic. Yeah, the, the mantra. I mean, there's no, there, there's no other way to put it. The mantra for the Democratic Party in Iowa has been to protect the integrity of the election. You heard numerous questions, good questions from reporters about how do we know we can trust this information. Uh, Mr. Price says there will be an independent examination of this data. But again, we have not seen all the data. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.